He had a semi-automatic rifle, walked out onto his balcony, shot up two police cars with the officers in the cars um, after he consumed the gummies. He believed that he was a player in Grand Theft Auto and somebody was controlling him. That was his hallucination. This is a product that uh, I received as a criminal case. Young man was trying to stop smoking and stop vaping, and the manager of a vape store said, here, take this. So when it came to us, I knew nothing about it. I tried not to know much about a case when we first start working on it. And so I received the package, and I thought it meant THC zero, meaning that it was Farm Bill compliant. And, um, and so we started analyzing it, and, you know, analytical chemist, I don't know what that thing is. So we began unpacking it. It's really THCO acetate. So the young man took three gummies out of this pack. Um, he had a semi-automatic rifle, walked out onto his balcony, shot up two police cars with the officers in the cars um, after he consumed the gummies. I can talk about the case now because it's fully adjudicated. He definitely had a schizophrenic break. Uh, he was such a danger to himself. Um, he was whisked away to a mental health facility that night because he was a danger to himself and the other inmates in the holding cell. He stayed essentially chemically lobotomized for about two years, two years. Um, and so I worked with his forensic psychiatrist um, who was working with him so that uh, to determine when he was sane enough to stand trial, because you might imagine the police department didn't care. So he's still going to stand trial for attempted murder of two police officers. Um, and so when he was finally able to stand trial, he was still heavily medicated, but he was lucid enough to be able to sit for his own trial. Um, and he was found not guilty by reason of insanity. 